In this video, I'm going to show you a fast elbow pain relief fix using an everyday butter knife. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with a locked up elbow, especially after working out or just from repetitive overuse, this is going to be a great technique that's going to loosen up the soft tissue and hopefully get you some fast elbow pain relief. And the cool thing is, all you need is a butter knife to be able to do it. This also is good for tennis elbow and golfer's elbow, medial or lateral epicondylitis. So if you're dealing with something like that, make sure to check this video out. This technique is based off what's called gua sha, which is muscle scraping. It's going to help promote uh, muscle and soft tissue healing by bringing blood flow into the area. So let's get started with it and see if we can get those elbows feeling better right now. So what I'm going to be using in this video is an everyday butter knife. You want one with like a little bit more thickness right here and also one with a curve right towards the handle. It's going to make it easier to scrape the muscles. Also, you want one that's pretty dull where you'd be able to go across it like that without any injury. If you feel the serrated part is pretty sharp, make sure to wrap it with some tape or use a washcloth while doing this so you don't cut yourself. Next, we're going to be using, uh, I'm using coconut oil for this, but you can use any massage or muscle oil. It's going to be very important to use some form of of oil because it's going to reduce friction while we do this. So if you don't have a butter knife, make sure to go over to your mom, parents, friend's house, ask for a favor and go grab one or just go to the store. So to start with, make sure to cover the area around the elbow, especially above and below, with a liberal amount of that muscle or massage oil. A little bit more is always better. You don't want to cause any friction or irritation with this. So let's break this down into a very easy step-by-step -step guide that's going to target the different areas that usually cause a lot of elbow issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my arm just like this and start with the forearm. I'm going to just take my uh, butter knife right here and go at about a 35 to 40 degree angle and slowly start to put pressure into that soft tissue and work my way up to the elbow, right up to the crease right here. And what you're going to feel is grittiness in some certain spots. That right there is a spot that you really want to stop and focus on. Like right here, I'm starting to feel like a grittiness in the muscle. I'm going to work over that spot for about 15 to 30 seconds. What you're going to notice is it's going to start to become red. That right there means the blood flow is coming into the area, which is going to help promote healing. After I'm done with that 15 to 30 seconds, I'm going to then switch to the opposite direction, again at 30 to 40 to 5 degrees, and then work over it. You can also go at different angles like that, but you want to make sure to go forward and then backwards with it. You just really want to try to focus on breaking up those muscle knots and adhesions because it's going to help with increasing mobility into the elbow. So I'm going to go first over this area completely. From there, I'm going to go up to the bicep right up here and do the same thing with it. I'm going to go up with it, I'm gonna go off to the side, and then I'm going to go down towards the elbow. Work over any spots that you feel are very tender. Like right here, I'm really feeling some tenderness. So I'm just gonna dig in there and apply pressure to where I feel comfortable. And again, if you see any redness, that means that the blood flow's coming in and it's starting to heal. Like you can see a pocket of redness starting to form right there. You wanna work that grittiness out, almost kinda like tenderizing that muscle, that meat in there to help loosen it up. So the next one I'm going to focus on is a muscle called the brachial radialis. And what you do is you kind of take your arm like this with your thumb up and you're going to notice that the muscle kind of tenses up right through here. This is another area that we're really gonna to wanna to focus on. So while I do this, I have my thumb up and I'm going to then target that muscle. Again, 30 to 45 degrees, get in there, work on any gritty spots and then go at it at a different angle. So I'm going to turn my arm over completely so my palms are down and then I'm going to focus on that. I'm gonna work down, I'm gonna work up on that forearm and then I'm also gonna work on the side of the arm right here to the side of the bicep. You're also going to want to work on the tricep which would be on the back of the arm right here. So if you flip it over completely, you're going to want to then also go down with it like this and try to go on the back side of the elbow. For 
medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow, you might want to take the pointer end of it and start to work towards the side right through here and go over any spots that are just very tender. What I do is just very small strokes with it and go again for about 15 to 30 seconds over any of that soft tissue that feels like it needs a little bit more attention and you can also build into that pocket the crease where the elbow is right here doing the same thing just go over the spots that need a little bit more attention attack it at different angles and what you're going to find is it helps really break up those adhesions and you're going to have a lot more motion into the uh, elbow itself so go over the elbow completely you can also go on the outside right here this is usually what causes tennis elbow that lateral epicondylitis and just make sure to go over all the soft tissue and after you're done with this another thing that you can do is if you go through a certain movement with the elbow and it really just feels locked up like let's say that I'm trying to bring my elbow back up like this and it just really hurts at that point go in those muscles at that point at that angle and then start to dig in the ones that feel very sore and then what you can do is try to build a little bit more motion in there and then repeat that same thing until you feel like you have a lot more motion back into the elbow this is just a very simple way to go in and increase a lot of flexibility into the elbow and reduce elbow pain very quickly just using a simple everyday butter knife Give it a try, hopefully it gives you a lot of relief. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.